One day, the man down the hall called us. His dog had puppies. Seems pretty unremarkable, right? A mom and a dad listen to their daughter read. Happens all the time. But this moment was a long time coming for Jennifer Simpson. Emily Ann is in the second grade, and she's finally starting to enjoy reading. The happiest moment of my life is watching Emily Ann read to her sister, or to me, or to her dad. But the feeling is bittersweet. Emily Ann's success hasn't come easily. Jennifer struggled with Emily Ann's first school and even moved her family to a new district before she found what Emily Ann needed. And how did she know what she was looking for in a school? That's the bittersweet part of the story. I don't like reading at all just because it, it frustrates me to read, and I choose not to read anything. She's been through this before with her 19-year-old son, Keith. When I put him in kindergarten, he still couldn't learn his alphabet. So we said, OK, let's put him in first grade and see what happens. And he repeated the first grade because he had such a, a, a difficult time even grasping what first grade was all about. Jennifer talked with Keith's teachers, and like a lot of parents, she thought the school would take care of him. I thought they were doing exactly you know, what they told me they were going to do. Didn't always happen and wasn't very smart in finding out that it wasn't going on because you tend to trust your teachers and the, the vice principal and the people that you, know, you, you give your child to, to teach. Keith never got the help he needed. He finished high school, and he's hoping to become a chef one day, but he's never become a truly fluent reader. Is he embarrassed by it? Yes. Is he mad at himself? Yes, because he thinks he could have done something more, and it shouldn't have been on him. He was the child. I was the parent. I should have fought for him, and I didn't know I could. So when Jennifer noticed Emily Ann having speech problems in preschool, she took action immediately. I got her tested. I wasn't going to fail this one like I failed my first. Jennifer Simpson was finally on the right track. While older readers like Keith can get help, one of the best things a parent can do is recognize signs of trouble early. 